Hey guys, what's up? Abomination Nine here, and uh, when we left off, I think we checked we checked out the quarry, and now we're gonna check out uh, some home security stuff. Uh, first, obviously, you can see uh, looking at my house that uh, that I've completely changed it from what it looked like before. Now it, it's uh, marble brick and basalt brick. It used to be uh, birchwood sapling, not saplings, the heck, birchwood. Uh, planks and cobblestone. I replaced the birchwood planks with uh, marble and the cobblestone with basalt brick as you can see. As well as replacing the regular torches with uh, what are these called? Inter interdiction torches I think they're called. Which uh, we'll get to in a second. They're very really expensive. To make two of those you need three diamonds. As you can see here all all inside is changed. You haven't actually been up here before, but uh, now you can see all this stuff here. That is all completely um, marble and basalt brick. A cannon. But first, let's just start. Let's talk about the fence. I changed the fence too. I switched the cobblestone into basalt brick. I changed the wooden fence into metal posts, white posts, so it would match my uh, house color. So it's the basalt and white. So that's the first defense, pretty much, for security, just fencing off the area. Now, second, I have these torches, these interdiction torches. These require three diamonds to make two of them, and they will, they're pretty much a monster force field. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, I'll go outside real quick and show you what I'm talking about. Uh, there's a couple torches here, so let me get a zombie. Place him there. See, he, he starts coming for me. Now, I'm walking towards these torches, which they better work. See, he can't get to me because these torches are here. It's pretty much a, a mob force field, so I can pretty much just stand here and just beat him to death, and there's nothing you can do about it. So all these torches are pretty much just uh, keep monsters away. Also, I've changed a little bit of the stuff on the inside. I have three layers of defense, by the way. That was I already showed you those two. I, from this, we looked at this before. Now this wire is connected over here into this pylon. Don't worry about that. We'll talk about that in a second. And then this is this connects into there, and then uh, power gives more power to this stuff. Then I also added four steam engines into the mass fabricator because it was uh, the the thing needs a lot of energy. So yeah, now we're going to talk about this little pylon thing I have here. This, if you could not tell, is a uh, force field generator. So what this does, as the name implies, creates a force field. Now what I'm going to do is get rid of this piece. Can I, can I get rid of the pickaxe? Yeah, I can. Yeah. Crap, I can't reach it. Okay, I got it. Now. I'm gonna have to move that later. So yeah, now we have. I need to get something. Uh, I need to have an empty hand. So this is a force field generator. So this power gets plugged into this. This send. This is a EU injector. I think this is the core here. So this has the power. This is completely full. I've I filled this thing up before starting the video. This is the core. This sends the power to all the other attachments. So this is a projector. This is what makes your force field. This has a radius and what type you want. And this would power would be if you had this frequency card put up there. Uh, you have to make a blank card, put it in there, then it'll make this frequency card. Then you take this and put that in there. And then now it, whoops, let me take that off because it made the force field without against my. Uh, I left it on. I didn't realize I left it on. So then you put the card in there, and then that now it's linked up to this this core here. So then. You flip the switch if all things well. This might drop frames a little bit or not, and you get a force field. Now I'm going to assume that my force field is red because of this attachment here, which is the zapper attachment, which I just barely found out before starting this video. So I'm like, oh my god, I made it before uh, starting the video, but this is pretty cool. Okay, so we have the zapper attached to the regular force field. I have it. 
set to uh, a sphere shape. Now, a zapper, if you could not tell, like if you if you can see the force field, it's kind of like sparkling, which we wouldn't really be doing that. But if you couldn't tell by the name zapper, it electrifies your force field. I'm not taking any damage because I have uh, red matter armor, but. As you can see here, I'm taking damage standing next to the force field because it is electrified, which is freaking amazing. But yeah, uh, the force field, pretty much, that's like a last defense. Like, you got someone who's trying to besiege your area. They got like a war tank with a TNT cannon and or loads of dynamite where to destroy your area. That's like the last, last uh, resort that you just pop up your, gen your uh, force field. And I hope that uh, it lasts. I think it can't. It'll last anything, but the sphere uh, might not survive a nuke. I've, that's what I've heard, but I don't. I don't know that, so you can't really quote me on that. But I don't think it can survive a nuke. Nuke. But uh, this thing here, the force field camouflage, can change your force field to look whatever you want, so you can make it blend in with uh, other environment now what I found to be the coolest is ice looks how I would want it to you can't use portal uh, blocks or anything like that but you can't the ice I think looks the best see I like the way that looks it looks like a semi legit force field also it's obviously still um, electrified it just you can't see the sparks anymore so it's still electrified Now, before this video gets too long, I'm going to, uh, actually I need to go that way. I'm going to fire two rounds of, of, uh, what is this, of cannon at it and see what happens, which I, it should not do anything, but, uh, let's see. Whoop, ah, credit, the booted me off. These things are kind of glitchy on uh, multiplayer. I think it hit. I didn't see it hit though. Let's fire another one. Go ahead. Load this up. What the heck happened? Well, oh, it like floated in the air. Yeah, these cannons are really glitchy. Yeah, it's. I, I guess it's hitting, but nothing's just getting destroyed on impact. Uh, let's try one more, I guess. Am I on it? Wow, that explosion like kicked me off. Yeah, okay, this time it actually hit here. As you can see, it damaged the uh, dirt here, but not the actual force field. So, yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching the vi the heck? Am I still still? Oh. That's the problem. It still believes that I'm still on the cannon. Like the cannons are really glitchy. Okay, I, yeah, my pants are straight. Yeah. So yeah, uh, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, tune in the next episode, which I don't know what that will be. I might go into a single player uh, map offline of Tech It and put a nuke next to a force field generator or force field and see what happens. Like. Like, I want to see what happens. So, yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Tune into the next episode. So, yeah, like, subscribe, comment. You know what to do. See ya.